always refer to your installation instructions as it is the primary source of information regarding your appliance. After you get your range installed, the next step is to put the burner caps and spreaders on the cooktop. That's what we're going to talk about today. Your burner base is going to fit inside of the orifice holder. And what you do is you align this notch with the spark igniter and it should sit right in. Then you take your burner cap, place it on top, make sure that it doesn't slide around, and it's set. This burner base is slightly different. There is no notch for the spark igniter, as you'll notice. But there are three keyed parts, and they're going to be going into the orifice holder. You'll notice that this one is larger than the other two, and there is an area here that is definitely large enough for this one to slip into in this direction. Once again, put your burner caps on so that they don't move around once they're on and you're all set. This particular burner is different. This has a burner base and the burner top as one complete unit. Now when you put this on, you'll notice there is an indentation here. Do not align the spark igniter in the center of that hole. That would be the wrong placement. It's going to be in front. Make sure that it doesn't slide around, and it's set. After you put your burner bases and burner caps on, now it's time to test to make sure that the flames are spreading properly. And so far, everything appears to be normal. And now we're going to show you what an irregular flame looks like. This is an irregular flame, and we're going to show you how to correct it. The burner cap is slightly off. So what we need to do is wait for this to sufficiently cool off, and then readjust it, turn it back on, and see if we've solved the problem. Problem solved. This represents an irregular flame in this particular position, so we're going to solve it. What we need to do is wait for this to sufficiently cool off, and then readjust it, turn it back on, and see if we've solved the problem. Try this again. And now we have a perfect flame. This represents an irregular flame in this particular position, so we're going to solve it. After it is sufficiently cooled, we're going to reposition the burner cap. And you'll notice that that is definitely an irregular flame. We're going to correct that. After the burner cap is sufficiently cooled, once again, you'll notice that the spark igniter is just forward of the notch. and we have a perfect flame. And now you are ready to cook.